many 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 congratulations 81 in financial reporting exam is too much my friend many congratulations for it how are you feeling and you know what is the feeling in the home what is the feeling with your parents what is that that your friends are thinking i think i can tell you you know being a fin trammer you really made me proud because of course you know having 81 in acc financial reporting is not an easy job what is the learning that you have from the financial reporting exam that you would like to share with the students at large what would be the two or the three things that you would want students to know that these are the things that you you should surely do my friend in the financial reporting exam if you have to be like him and then you know on the second hand we really want to talk through in terms of you know what do you think has worked well for you and you know what do you think uh really clicked for you in this exam that was the whole intent because i want the students who would be seeing us you know they should really know that you know this is something that really worked for himant and this might work for them so they should also be copying you in that and of course we'll talk on the do's and don'ts and you know various other things that i really want to you know touch upon and of course want them to know Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Dingra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud fin trammer. And today I have an another reason for feeling all the more proud my friend because today I have a student with me who just appeared in September 2022 exam in the financial reporting and he scored 81 marks my friend. Yes my friend, 81 marks in ACC financial reporting is not easy. is a great thing to achieve and that is the reason i reached out to him and of course requested him to be here to be here and talk to you my friend in terms of you know what he did the way he did he finally agreed and of course now he's here and we will be talking to him my friend in terms of knowing what exactly he did what all are the do's and the don'ts and of course what is the learning that we can have from him in terms of doing really well in this exam should we go and check out yes my friend we will be meeting him in puri today and he scored he scored the 81 marks in financial reporting exam in the recent attempt and i'm sure he has a lot to share with us in terms of you know what he did the way he did should we go and check him out yes sir but before we really go in there subscribe to our channel fintran global my friend just to ensure that these videos are something you're not missing on is that clear yes sir all right let's go and meet Hemant hey, now all righty hi hemant good morning hello sir good morning thank you thanks for joining in and many 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 congratulations 81 in financial reporting exam is too much my friend many congratulations for it thank you sir thank you so much how are you feeling and you know what is the feeling in the home what is the feeling with your parents what is that that your friends are thinking i think i can tell you you know being a fin trammer you really made me proud because of course you know having 81 in acc financial reporting is not an easy job so many many congratulations and tell me how has been the feeling at home so actually i'm feeling very delighted happy and everyone at home is actually like proud of me and uh, just like to express my gratitude to to you and the whole fintram team for the support and guidance throughout the journey sir thank you thanks for that and really appreciate that but tell me himant you know i can tell you you know one of the reason for you to be here and of course we requesting you to really come over here is want to of course congratulate you and of course um, uh, really wanted to share that you know how good we are feeling about you then you know on the second hand we really want to talk through in terms of you know what do you think has worked well for you and you know what do you think uh really clicked for you in this exam that was the whole intent because i want the students who would be seeing us you know they should really know that you know this is something that really worked for himant and this might work for them so they should also be copying you in that and of course we'll talk on the do's and don'ts and you know various other things that i really want to you know touch upon and of course want them to know but before really going over there one thing that i really want to start off with is Now tell me something about you in terms of you know what are you doing where are you from and of course you know uh, how did you get to know about fintram and and uh, 
uh, how has been your journey till now more to understand you know what all you have done in acca how many papers you have cleared just to get get some sense of you know what all you have done by now sure sir so firstly i would like to introduce myself i am hemant puri and i am basically from odisha i completed my matriculation and my 12 from odisha and i am currently in pune doing my undergraduate degree from symbiosis college of arts and commerce i am pursuing bcom integrated with acca so as of now the first six papers are exempted so f7 that is financial reporting was my first exam and i got to know about fintram from the internet from google actually i was just going through all the institutes like which should, which institute should i opt for which is the best institute so i read a review that fintram global is like a good institute and so i decided to go ahead with that and i i hope you are not repenting on on your decision no no sir <laughs> i think i made the right decision <laughs> <laughs> thank you thanks for that and himant you know you said that this was your first exam for you know for after your you know six exams that were exempted so how did you choose uh, financial reporting to be your first exam why not the other exams so first of all it was a serial order that uh, i follow f7 first six are exempted so the first is f7 and also i heard from many seniors that uh, the skill level papers are actually the base for the professional papers so i thought uh, i i won't like um, change the numbers so i i should go serially so i decided to go ahead with fr and by that logic the next exam would be audit sure sir yes okay <laughs> and i can tell you one thing you know while uh, not not relevant for financial reporting exam but for relevant for the overall exams as such as far as sequencing is concerned the best combination of financial reporting exam is always with audit because many of the content is the same and and vice versa too because uh, in audit also there are things that you would learn that are getting that are that may get tested in financial reporting and same goes with sbr and aaa if when you'll go on on to the professional level so good i think you know i get that understanding now tell me uh, hemant more from the from the student standpoint what was your preparation strategy how did you prepare for the exam and uh, give us more you know on a granular basis what do you think worked for you in the exam so starting from first i enrolled uh, fr course like during june i should say mid june and i started preparing for fr seriously around july first week of july it was at that time i thought like it's high time and i should start preparing because the course is like vast and i won't get time if i like chill out now so i decided to focus on my studies so it was like in uh, july i started with my preparations firstly i completed all the sessions all the 17 sessions and side by side i was like doing a kaplan exam kit questions from that chapter which i completed like simultaneously and uh, after completing exam kit i i moved on to revision boot camp session and revision boot camp session i should say it's a mixture of exam kit questions and as well as the previous year questions and that has really helped me like to know what the exact requirement of the examiner is and, and what does he needs in return like what answer what type of answer how should it be presented so yeah it has really helped me so if i if i have to rephrase that uh, uh, himant what you did was you completed the syllabus area sessions first that we have provided yes. simultaneously yes. you were doing the exam kit yourself exam which were relevant yes. to that particular concept that you have learned let's say session 1 anything yes. that is relevant to session 1 you were covering that point in time through exam kit and after that you completed our revision boot camp which is like you know combination of section a section b section c and past exam questions you you covered that and after that yes and and after that what so after that i was preparing to like revise everything uh, like once and then sit for the mock test yes yeah. yes mock that's what i good. wanted to hear that's what i really i was looking forward to that then comes the mock exam and this I'm, mock test has really helped me sir yes like the, the review the feedback as like like has given me a chance like where to improve 
so so you you got the feedback. all these things like sorry sir you got the feedback and review from me right as to what all yes sir yes, yes. yes. Sir. and i'm i'm glad that you mentioned that because honestly i you would have seen me saying that in sessions also i keep saying that that mock exam can really create wonders for you because that effectively puts you in the exam situation you if you're doing the you know the mock exam in the timed condition that effectively forces you to you know complete the entire uh, exam in the given time frame and if you are able to do that or not able to do that at least you can work on the areas that you need to improve upon and that can only happen if you have exposed yourself if you have exposed yourself to the scenario and uh, you know you have got a learning from it and when i give my review you know we tried mentioning each and every point that this is the area that you really need to improve upon so i'm glad that you mentioned that and i'm glad that that was helpful to you but uh, if i really have to you know go more granular himant uh, in terms of you know the exam uh what was the most difficult section for you section a there are three sections in the exam all of us you know should be aware of it section a which is completely mcqs section b which is like a case that has five mcqs and then you have section c which is like you know a full fledged question wherein you have to prepare something whether it is a statement of financial position or a pnl or a cash flow or analysis and whatsoever so what was that that you felt most difficult one section a section b or section c sir honestly speaking section c was a bit strange because like students like me we are not used to cb environment we are not used to practicing questions on excel so it creates a situation like strange situation so in the beginning it was very difficult like solving a question it would take an hour or 50 minutes or one hour 15 minutes but with regular practice and <clears throat> regular like doing the questions in on a regular basis will surely help and those like one question which takes one hour will surely come down to 40 minutes 35 minutes yes and that's the outer limit if you recall right the outer yes. limit of attempting the section c question is 40 minutes you can't go beyond that and i'm i'm uh, you know i would say i'm with you in terms of saying that section c is always uh, um always a concern among the students not that it is difficult but of course you know it really it really actually warrants you to know the cb environment and for the folks you know who are seeing us i really want to call this out that even in our sessions and of course you know one thing that i keep repeating in 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 everywhere that one most important thing to do well in the acc exam is to understand the computer based in the exam environment exam over here are the computer based exam the more you will understand the computer based exam framework in terms of functionalities in terms of what works well how it really works over there in the exam room the best equipped you are of handling that in the exam conditions and if you are equipped your probability of clearing this exam goes substantially high and this computer based exam environment Uh, may not impact your section A or B because over there you just have to click the right option, right? It's not that you have to do calculations onto the computer. While for some you may, but not for all, right? You can calculate it on your calculator outside, and of course you can put the right answer, click the right right answer there. But especially for section C, wherein you have to prepare the working notes in the Excel, you have to use the word processor, or you have to prepare the statement of financial. a position or a pnl into the excel you really have to know the functionalities and that's where you understanding the cb is super important thing and you rightly pointed out him in there that more you would practice in the cb environment the best you are prepared for handling this exam in the best possible way and for that just for everyone to know fintram really helps you with the cb training also wherein we provide you in terms of you know how the functionality really works so that you are when you you really know that you can practice that and of course you can demonstrate that when you would sit in your exam so with you hemant on that that cb is a big 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 problem especially for the section c and that actually makes many of the students really scared and i can tell you 
because of that, what I've seen from my experiences, many of the students, they do not complete section C. They either do only one question of section C and, 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 and that is it. They leave one question blank or they have attempted both, but not like fully. And hence, they do not get marks over there. So I, I, I completely agree with you. Now coming on, you know, section A, section B, section C, you mentioned that, you know, uh, uh, section C was 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 a concern or somewhat could have been better, whatever you want to say. But tell me, you know, uh, what is the learning that you have from the financial reporting exam that you would like to share with the students at large? What would be the two or the three things that you would want students to know that these are the things that you, you should surely do, my friend, in the financial reporting exam. If you have to be like Hemant, Hemant and of course, treat Pankaj Dhingra with a cup of coffee, then, then what would that be? So firstly, I would like, like give the advice to don't leave any chapter. Just prepare the entire syllabus because the questions can be asked from anywhere. And I would just like to say three things, three Ps actually. So number one is patience. So you need to be patient. You won't get the right answer in the first attempt. You need to understand the concept. You need to apply the concept and then accordingly everything will fall in place. And the second P is process. You need to listen to the sessions like alert. You should be alert. You should be attentive and you need to listen to the sessions. Then you should go on solving exam kit. And after done with the exam kit, you should go on giving mocks. And after giving mocks, you should like revise the entire syllabus once. And the third P is practice. As, as sir always say that you need to practice questions by your own hand. It is actually very vital. It decides where you are and where you want to go. So yes. I, I love that three Ps. Let me tell you, I love that because I think that's that's very relevant. And and you know, one thing that here we've said it very subtly, uh Hemant which I think is of a prime importance is that, that you should not, you should not cherry pick topic in the financial reporting exam. You cannot say that, you know what, and many of the students that really do that at times, they say that, you know, this question came in into the last attempt. Now that won't be coming in this attempt. Nope. That is not something to be done. Anything and everything that is given in the syllabus area or part of syllabus area is very important. You cannot, cannot pick something and leave something. That is not the right approach to follow. You have to do the entire syllabus curriculum. Now, coming on to the three Ps, I think I loved it. I can I can tell you from the core of my heart that practice, the last one is super important thing. And I keep saying that in my sessions, out my sessions, that you have to practice questions by your own hand as much as possible in the CD. The first thing that you, the first P that you mentioned, which is like a patience thing, I think, I think that's very much there for all of the you know exams. You know, for all of the exams, you really need to be patient. Not that everything that you would get in the exam would be something hunky dory, right? Not that everything that you would see in the exam would be something that you'd be knowing. You have you have to apply your basic sense and basic knowledge over there and write it on over there. It it would always be a scenario wherein something would come over there, which something which is something that you have not seen or not heard. But you have to, you know, be there, stand over there, apply the knowledge that you have and go along with it. Go with the flow. And that's going to be the mantra. The second P, which is the process. And, you know, I'm sure, Hemant, you would have reckoned that now, you know, in our sessions also, we say that there is a process that we always follow in the, in the entire uh, preparation uh, methodology, which is like you have to see these sessions, all the sessions of the syllabus area first. Then move on to the revision boot camp, which effectively covers the concept questions, the comprehensive questions, the past exam questions, and then move on to the mock. In addition to that, if you're practicing the exam questions, oh, sorry, the exam kit questions, whether it is Kaplan or BPP or whatsoever, while I can tell you we have covered a lot of that in the revision boot camp. So, you know, we personally feel that, you know, most of them which are relevant for you are already being covered in revision boot camp. But if you have to practice more, you can certainly refer any exam kit. But in addition to that, if you have to do anything, then only do the past examination questions. Past exam papers are something that will certainly give you a very different level of confidence. And icing on the cake would be you appearing for a couple of mocks and getting a review and then taking the name of your God and hitting the exam in the best possible way. And of course, treating me with the cup of coffee when you come up with the flying flying colors. Like what Hemant would be doing, I'm sure, you know, when I'm there next time in Pune, Hemant, you certainly have to treat me with the cup of coffee. 
Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I'll do that. <laughs> I have a crude, right? I have a crude onto my onto my yes, financials sir. that you know I have a cup of coffee now being due from Pune, and I'm you know I can tell you you know the now the list of my accrual is really going high. Is really going multifold in terms of you know the states or the countries or the state you know the the places that I have in it. I'm and I really relish the you know in terms of you know how how fruitful uh, you know it it has been all along. Now coming on to him in the you know you mentioned the do's right, which is like you know you should be doing this that whatever and you know we understood that and I'm sure student would understand that reckon that and of course they would take um, you know your advice and of course in your include in their prep. But what is the don't, my friend? What is that that they should not be doing? You know, which is which is something everybody would be interested in. And you know, please do not do this thing because this has not not helped him and or this would not help you. So what would that be? The first thing, as you said, that I said earlier also, don't leave any chapter because anything can, could be asked from anywhere. So the end so covering of the entire syllabus is necessary. And second is uh, please don't waste time. You need to like if you want really to pass, you want to score good marks. You should give enough time, around six to seven hours a day. So you would like certainly come out with flying colors. And third is you need to sacrifice. You need to sacrifice like hanging out with friends, going to parties, and believe me, it will like it is worth. Like after after giving the exam, you can go, or after your results, you can go. That's when the actual celebration starts. Oh yes, and that's where you know even that's where actually my celebration also start because I would also get my cup of coffee. <laughs> so don't hang around, don't waste time, and do not leave any any syllabus area, my friend. Very important that you're not missing out on any of the syllabus area because examiner is super smart. You know, he would somewhat somewhere test you on those small minuscule points which you think are not not relevant. I can tell you, you know, I had a discussion. Uh, last to last week with one of our student and we were chatting on the whatsapp and he mentioned you know what that uh, the analysis question came in last time i have uh, got to know from one of our um, you know friend so i don't think it will come this time it will be consolidation one i said you know what there are 10 sets 20 sets god knows how many that are being operated at one point in time in acca when they're giving the exams how can you predict that you cannot right who knows what you would get in the exam Please do not do that. Please do not do cherry picking. It's not going to be helpful for sure. Sure, sir. All right. So, Hemant, uh, I think I think we have covered the do's and the don'ts. We have understood your background. We have understood what really worked well for you. We have understood what you think would not work for the students. And, uh, uh, you know, you we, we get the broad idea in terms of, you know, how did you... Uh, worked on and of course did what you did but what about the exam day fever exam day you would i'm sure you know being being a student and you know i being a student we all feel scared on the exam day right that is natural how did you manage that those butterflies into your stomach at that point in time any 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 advice that you would give to the student to manage those butterflies sir one thing i would say that dar sabko lagta hai लैपटॉप में एग्जाम देना इज लाइक समथिंग स्ट्रेंज इट्स नॉट वी आर यूज टू स्टूडेंट्स लाइक मी दे आर मस्ट बी गिविंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो ये डर एक ही चीज से कम होगा कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस आपको सीबी प्लेटफॉर्म पे एक्सेल पे प्रैक्टिस करना है वर्ड पे प्रैक्टिस करना है एनालिसिस इंटरप्रिटेशन के क्वेश्चन तो उससे क्या है बहुत हद तक डर कम हो जाएगा और मॉक टेस्ट देना है और टाइम तक देना है ऐसा आपने बोला सर कि तीन घंटे में देना है तो टाइम फ्रेम में देने से वो लगा कि एक्चुअल एग्जाम ही चल रहा है सो आफ्टर यू गिव थ्री टू फोर मार्क्स देन आई थिंक यू विल फील कॉन्फिडेंट लाइक मच कॉन्फिडेंट और नर्वस और फियर जो है बहुत हद तक कम हो जाता है i i i couldn't agree more with you hemant and i'm loving the way you're saying man you should be a teacher i'm telling you you know the, the way you are saying I'm, you, i'm loving I'm, i'm loving the way you are delivering that so i i i i love that you know that yes this is the mantra and this is something uh, you know that can really take your fear off shelf not like 100% but at least that will help you in terms of taking you know the the basic level of you know um, issues or scare you know scariness that you would have in your mind not like in 100% way but to a large extent you would be like you know free from the issues or 
free from the concerns that you may get to have in your mind and of course you know then uh, once you have it you can then capitalize on you know the other pieces that you know yes this is um this is what i you know uh, i can do with the rest of the things so you know with you on that so himant you know we have understood the do's and the don'ts and of course we have understood what you should be doing on on the on the exam day and of course you mentioned the cbe thing which i think is really important and everybody should be practicing the questions on cbe as much as possible giving the mock getting the reviews working on the important areas again very well taken now if you have to you know uh, share one uh, one mistake that you did in your exam you not like from the syllabus era standpoint but one mistake that you think you did which you could have avoided which student should not do then what is that sir i think i spent a lot of time in section c so i would just advise all the students who are going to appear or those who will be appearing in future that they should practice enough questions so that they complete the questions on time so for me i completed just around 5 minutes or 6 minutes so i i think that i should have like completed earlier and rechecked all my answers once so i think that was one thing which is like and i think again it's a it's a very vital point guys you know uh, we know we and you would have seen him and me mentioning that in session that the maximum time frame that you have for answering a section c question is 40 minutes you should not go beyond 40 minutes 35 40 minutes is the outer limit that we just say that you have for answering section c question if you're eating up more time there you would not have time either for the next section c question or you would not ju- do justice to to that question the way you should have so one would really need to ensure that they are not doing that mistake and you know they are learning from what what hemant just mentioned that you should be really be uh, you know adhering to the time limit we generally say 1.8 minutes per mark is something that you should be spending on and we have gone through various time management uh, discussions in our sessions i'm sure you would know that one thing that you know that would also help you manage section c questions my friend is to you know and i'm sure hemant you would reckon that fact there is a term that we use in terms of not ensuring that we do mistakes in section c what was that do you want to remind that fd me yes fd me is the mantra my friend to clear the financial reporting exam and I, i'm not going to get into the details of it the the fintramers would surely know in terms of you know what fd me is all about as far as the financial reporting exam is concerned important is that these mnemonics these mantras these techniques really helps you do well in the exam and of course know what can go wrong your way so so that if you can tick the box that you have done the f you have done the d you have done the m done the e you know that you're not doing the mistake and you're really capturing all the details which are relevant for any particular question and of course if you can do that within the time frame i think that's that's going to be a game changer for you all right good himant i think broadly i have covered you know most of the things himant that i wanted to share and of course bring it on table to the student at large fraternity at large uh, towards the end i just want to have uh, you know feedback on your decision you know how how did you felt about the you know our classes fintram classes i think you know listening from the horse's mouth is always always important and always relevant you know so you know folks would want to you know would love to hear from you in terms of you know how did fintram help you in terms of achieving what you achieved i think that's going to be the the you know something that that everybody would be interested in and so am i you know if there is a feedback for me that you would like to give to me or of course to the fintram you will be happy to take it up so one thing i should say that the students who are with like enrolled with fintram i should say they have made the right decision and they should trust the process they should trust you and the whole fintram global team and i think everything will fall in place accordingly they have made the right decision thank you hemant thanks for that and really appreciate the kind words you know all i can tell you is that you know uh, the team over here is 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 dedicatedly working in terms of uh, uh you know uh, in terms of uh, all the support that they really need to provide to ensure that success is surely there for the students and all that you need to do is to have a belief in us and of course do what the faculty really says uh and i'm sure you know uh, if you'll practice the way they're expecting sky would be the limit and and you know surely our results would be would be the ones where and you would certainly treat us with the cup of coffee sure 
All right. I think that's pretty much, uh, you know, uh, Hemant, I, I wanted to cover uh, towards the end, you know, and to the student fraternity at large. I think we have we have got enough of the inputs from Hemant. And of course, this discussion, I think, or I'm presuming would be very helpful to you in terms of your preparation for the financial reporting exam. But if you in case have any further questions or queries for me or for Hemant, just, you know, put that in the comment box below, you know, in this video. Hemant and me both will pick it up and, of course, answer you in terms of, you know, what your strategy can be. We can mentor you, my friend, in your success. And Hemant, I would humbly request you that if there is any question or comment that really comes up in this video, you know, just take out some time in terms of answering that. So that students should also know that, you know, this is coming from you and this is what they should be doing. I am any which way is there to help you and support you in the best way possible. Surely, sir, I will do that. All right. I think, you know, that was what we wanted to cover him. And I would really congratulate you and wish you all the very best for the next exams coming up your way and would be there for any help and support that you may need. You, you, you have my number now. And if there is anything that you need from me, uh, any guidance, any support, feel free to jump on and we'll be happy to support you in the best way possible. This is not the end of the session, my friend. We will be doing many of these sessions as we go forward, mentoring our students around the globe in the best possible way. But thank you very much and all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thanks for taking our time, Hemant. Look forward. Thank you. Thank you sir.